Hi students, welcome back again, which will be video class 14 today on another new topic that is electric field due to a dipole at any point on the equatorial line. What is an equatorial line? What is a dipole? As you have been learning in the previous video, means video 11, 12, 13, we have to learn thoroughly. Unless you watch and learn the concept that, that I discussed in video 11, 12, 13, where I discussed about concept of electric field, relation for electric field due to a point charge, and concept of dipole, and the electric field produced by a dipole. Dipole is also a source of electric field, like a point charge. What is field? Whenever I use the word field, what do you think? The region where you see an influence on another charge. That influence is due to a charge, what we call source charge. There are two charges, source charge, test charge. A test charge influences a, or experiences a force. That region is said to contain electric field. A dipole is also a source of electric field. What is a dipole? Dipole basically a molecule. Due to arrangement of uh, the atoms of the molecule, one end will be effectively positive where the proton concentration more we will learn about that in the next chapter on the other end negatively charged particles namely electron concentration will be more and will be separated by means positive charge concentration protons and negative charge concentration electrons separated by a certain distance that you call dipole length students how did you represent that length? S2A from the center of the molecule that is center of dipole you measure distance center to positive charge say A see here this is positive charge and center to negative charge also A so total length is 2A uh, here the line which passes through the two charges and the center axial line what is equatorial line today's class line which is passing perpendicular to the axial line at the center that is equatorial line any point on the axial line you call end on position and electric field at any point on the axial line to the right or to the left outside the dipole this side or this side E is given by an expression you learnt 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 2 pi r divided by r square minus a square whole square and what is direction direction is from minus q to plus q that's why direction from minus q to plus q you chose as dipole moment vector direction is from minus q to plus q we assign dipole with a direction what is direction from minus q to plus q remember the students and we define dipole moment as a vector quantity product 2a into q very useful for our next discussion torque your direction is from minus p to minus q to plus q in that direction electric field exists exists electric field is to the left here also to the left left means minus q to plus q that is the direction all this we learnt you know what is a dipole what is center of dipole what is length of dipole what is axial line what is equatorial line any point on the axial line end on position any point on the equatorial line broadside in position all around the region in around dipole is a region of electric field Dipole is a source of electric field. If you place a unit charge here, positive charge, it experiences force due to this and this. There will be a net force. How do you show that? For example, this positive charge repels unit positive charge like this. See, like this. And this attracts towards it. There will be resultant, resultant somewhere in this direction. That is the direction of electric field. You can show the same type of construction all around. That's why electric dipole is a source of electric field. However, students, what is net charge of a dipole? Very, very simple question. Plus Q one end, minus Q the other end. What is total value? Zero. Total charge of the dipole is zero. However, there is electric field around it. Due to that electric field, the dipole interacts with the external field. 
and therefore dipole rotates that rotation is called torque we will learn next section next video and this dipole due to the interaction with the external field changes the electric field in the medium that's what you learned the electric field is altered by material medium how you will learn as an interaction between molecules of the medium and the external field i told you in the last class also remember this in mind because always there will be a question why to learn this what is this why this the answer is very simple dipole is a molecule there are two ends plus q minus q and therefore it produces its own electric field around if you apply external field the dipole field and external field interact dipole rotates and all this interaction result in change in the electric field and hence electric force in the medium therefore electric force between two charges in a medium different in air different i told you right electric field is affected by medium we are going to learn about that there it very it's very very important that's why now we are learning what is the value and direction of field on the axial line and on, on the equatorial line only this to know all around there will be field there is general expression for that we need these two electric field on the axial line equatorial line for our next discussions that's why we restrict ourselves only to these two lines now let's come to our discussion the field value at any point on the equatorial line this is equatorial line let us suppose a point i write here point this is a point what distance this at a distance say r from where the center of the molecule center o see here student center o i write little bit to the right center o at a distance r now if i draw a line from this point p let us name p to the positive end let us name positive end a negative end b write the same in your notes also end a end b and you draw a line here straight to this right this is pb this is pa at point p there will be electric field due to these two charges that's our discussion so you have to write the directions of fields due to plus q minus q then you have to find resultant that's what we did in the previous class for electric field on the axial line now students what is the meaning of field at p yes you have to place a unit positive charge you suppose there is a unit positive charge q not at that point see students this plus q and q not what repel each other why like charges repel therefore this repels this which way along this line you extend this this is the direction of electric field due to which charge come on quick s plus q charge let me write that e plus q same time now let us ignore this this charge also exerts force which way as it is negative and this positive attracts which direction along pa observe carefully pa where is p this point b this this is pa this is pb along pb but this is along ap this is along ap this is along pb very careful be careful because this is negative charge attracts this positive charge repels this at the same time two electric fields acting on the charge q not since it is force per unit charge electric field denoted by e minus q e minus q very very important and e minus q towards minus q and e plus q is away from plus q plus q see the direction these two forces acting together that's why it is superposition of electric forces per unit charge electric force per unit charge is called field so field due to plus q like this minus q like this these two are acting at the same time how do you find resultant very simple same story draw a line parallel to e minus q from here the method of parallelogram right this is parallel you draw another line from here parallel to e plus q from the head head of vector e minus q you can write this vector e plus q vector e minus q 
draw a line parallel to this straight right right if you use scale now you can write little bit down here this is little bit down okay now it is proper right ha now the point of intersection of the two lines becomes the fourth corner of uh, parallelogram whose diagonal represents their resultant remember this is the resultant resultant i denote by e vector e or e b b second case if you consider first case electric field at any point on the axial line e a first case a and this becomes e b like that you can use e only electric field e or e b in this direction if you do construction measure angle how do you measure angle why you have to measure angle I'll show you let us suppose this as angle theta my angle what is that angle between axial line and the line ap ap is the uh, line along which electric field eq is acting so between them if you choose angle this also will be theta if you do mathematical construction using protractor and scale very easy because this these two are equal equal the total angle is bisect and you can do you can understand one more thing see this this is uh, side length a this also a this is common side therefore these two are equal lengths that's why this angle entire angle will be bisect equally that's why this and this this means what resultant electric field this is axial line both are parallel when these two are parallel if this angle will be equal to this angle this angle will be theta equal to this angle so very simple mathematical construction so electric field resultant of e plus q and e minus q will be just along axial line but look at the direction to the right how did you define direction for dipole from minus q to plus q left see here dipole moment is to the left in the previous videos i explained you that's why i have to learn previous videos thoroughly this is to the left whereas electric field is to the right with respect to dipole moment the direction is negative that comes in the expression negative sign comes in the expression now <clears throat> to find resultant of these two e plus q minus q same formula how do you find resultant of two vectors acting at a point by using parallelogram law of vector addition how did you do that if you consider this as angle theta draw parallelogram this becomes diagonal the resultant r equals to vector r root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta you use this several times this year also use 3 4 times to solve numerical problems for any vectors be it a force electric force magnetic force gravitational force electric field gravity any any vector you can use this relation uh, but what is the p here e plus q value what is q e minus q value what is the value of electric field same 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 charge by distance square distance is given here distance for one ap the other and pb we will write expression for that and using this you can find result one method one more method is there that is resolution you learned last year i explained you in detail in four five classes we will be using resolution method in textbooks notes resolution method to find resultant field e has been discussed therefore we will go for that before i go to resolution method first of all let us write the values of electric fields e plus q e minus q students first of all let us have a quick revision what we have done so far see in our discussion there is a dipole dipole means a molecule with one end positive the other end negative what is axial line line passing through the two pos charges axial line what is equatorial line perpendicular to the axial line what is a distance between center of the molecule to the end a or end b where is your point axial line what distance r r changes if you go up to this point r increases come down r decreases totally r is a variable at distance present distance is r that's it at point p you are finding electric field what is field you suppose you think nyasha martira a unit positive charge at p which experiences forces due to plus q minus q 
plus q repels minus q attracts that's why electric field due to plus q away from it at point away away along ap at the same time electric field at minus at p due to minus q towards it towards it along pb along pb to two directions when resolved or when found resultant give this these two give this direction how parallelogram of expectation very simple and this is parallel to this because the entire angle between these two bisect is bisect why the values of e plus q minus q same i will write the values here that's why uh, this if you consider this angle theta this will be theta corresponding angles corresponding angles this is theta this is very simple mathematics if you have any doubts you can send me questions regarding this angle no problem you will easily understand uh, now to find the resultant you have to use two methods one this formula the other one resolution method that is easier than this it has been discussed in the inside book let's do that now to find resultant what is the value of e plus q e minus q we will write expressions you as usual start with your own explanation consider a dipole having length 2a charge value plus q minus q we can define dipole moment 2a into q direction is from minus q plus q, all that you right now field field first point field field at p due to which charge minus q charge field at p sorry plus q let us take first plus q charge plus q charge is is i write e plus q e plus q is equal to come on tell me what is the expression for electric field you have to be repeating words along with me 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 a constant into charge what is charge plus q plus q charge divided by distance what is distance ap distance is ap that is ap squared distance is ap squared that's it uh, now if i write arrow in nodes only magnitude has been written you can write direction also no problem you can write direction along along ap very important along ap it's along ap i have shown the direction there in the diagram along a to p extend similarly if i write this way similarly similarly field same word field at p at p at p due to due to minus q field at p due to minus q is what do you write e minus q what is e minus q e minus q is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 minus q divided by what is that b you are at b observing towards p bp squared but here the direction charge is negative you are looking at p from b that's why bp but since the charge is negative electric field is towards that point towards that that's why i have to change the direction pb if i write 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught minus minus means along bp to that direction opposite let us write that direction if i write minus sign opposite if i remove sign you have to write pb because electric field is from p to b whole square along along pb electric field is along pb here from a to p in the same direction as you observe but here you are observing towards p from b but field is towards b that's why i have removed minus sign writing the direction i have written direction to these two directions you are finding resultant that's why sign gone you are just using the magnitude to find the value value of resultant Direction is already taken care of. Direction, actually, you are supposed to write direction like this, like this along BP, but it is towards B. That's why I am writing PB, PB without minus sign, along PB without minus sign. For these two directions, along PB, along AP, for those two, you, are, you have found resultant. Value is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by AP square. 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q by 
PB square. Remember, students, trigonometrically, PB and AP both are same. PB, AB both are same. I will write that. You can know that. follow that in figure or in triangle. In triangles, uh, AOP, observe, or BOP, right angle triangle, AP is equal to PB. Right. What is AP? Hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse side? Sum of the squares AO square plus AP square whole to the power half because AP square is AO square plus a AP square is AO square plus OP square OP from O to P O to P. What is AO? A. What is OP? Ah, that's why you can write A square plus R square whole to the power half. You can write that. <coughs> Remember, students, AP is equal to PB. That's equal to A square plus R square. Very simple, right? It's very simple calculation. For triangle BOP also, you can write what is BP? Hypotenuse square sum of the squares of other two sides. Namely, BO square plus OP square. What is BO? A, A square. What is OP? R, R square. So, A square plus R square whole to the power half trigonometry. Uh, simple Pythagoras theorem. So, I am going to write this A square plus R square whole to the power half. Same here too. Both replaced by A square plus R square whole to the power half. Now, okay students. Now, we'll practice how to resolve. We have learned last year from four or five occasions in uh, work power energy, rotational mechanics, and also solving CET questions. I showed you why and how to resolve. Resolving means splitting vectors in two different directions. Here, the directions are one axial line, the other equatorial line. I have written the same thing that is here, here. See, same point P, there are two vectors acting at point P, E plus Q, E minus Q. The value of E plus Q, see there, first one. And value of E minus Q also there, you already written. Now you have to find resultant of E plus Q and E minus Q along axial direction. Because you have shown that this is the direction of resultant vector that we may denote E plus Okay, students, you have this much in mind clearly. You are finding the values of E plus Q, E minus Q. Values of E plus Q, E minus Q along with direction parallel to axial line. Parallel to axial line. That is E along E. You are, e is the resultant of E plus Q, E minus Q. How to resolve the values of E plus Q, E minus Q? First, first of all, let us take the vector e plus q see here let you think this way e plus q is acting along this direction just you observe the direction i have written same e plus q here it is acting at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal right with respect to the horizontal now for, to find the value of this, draw perpendicular from here. This is what you did last year. Now, this is this value. This value is the horizontal component and this value is the vertical. Now, if you draw this here, here from draw this here and this here, this is the value horizontal and this is the value vertical parallel. Theta theta like this right now what is this side this side is opposite what is this side this is adjacent adjacent what is opposite side as i told you last year whenever we say opposite in right angle triangle it is hypotenuse into sin theta this is hypo what is hypotenuse e plus q hypotenuse into sin theta similarly what is adjacent side that is hypotenuse into cos theta why students because cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. Sin theta opposite by hypotenuse. So, for opposite side, you can write hypotenuse E plus Q into sin theta. Here for adjacent, 
ಹೈಪಾಟಿನಿಯಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟು ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಸಿ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ತೀಟ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಪುಷಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಿ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಟ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಥೀಟ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಷಿಂಗ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಅದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಟ್ರೈಯಾಂಗಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಶೋಡ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಅಪ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಸ್ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲಿ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ರೆಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಟ್ರಯಾಂಗಲ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ 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 ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಪಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಹೈಪಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಹೈಪಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ ಇಂಟು ವಿಚ್ ತೀಟ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಟ ಹೈಪಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಟ ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಟ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಡೌನ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಟ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ರೈಟ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಅಪ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಶೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐ ಶೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ರಿಸಾಲ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಡ್ರಾ ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಟ್ರಯಾಂಗಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಹಾರಿಸಾಂಟಲ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಕಾಸ್ ತೀಟ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಡೌನ್ ಇ ಮೈನ ಇ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಸೈನ್ ತೀಟ ಅಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಾರಿಸ
like this. That's why these two are opposite. Opposite implies minus sign. What is the value of e plus q? e minus q. Look here. I can straight away write ap square a square plus r square whole to the power half. Since it is squared, squared, if I square it, what do I write? For square, ap square equals to a square plus r square. That's it. When you square it, you write because it is squared here, squared. So I can write the values of e plus q, e minus q straight away. So the resultant field e equals to minus of what is e plus q? 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 charge q divided by r square plus a square. It is squared. AP square is a square plus r square into cos theta plus the other term is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by a r square plus a square a square into cos theta unit vector p. Some of you may be still wondering, sir, this is minus q charge. Why you are not writing? Simple answer once again. Minus, of course, when you observe this direction, electric field is opposite. I have shown already direction. Ulta, like this. For these two directions, I have constructed the resultant. That's why just magnitude you are writing here. Magnitude, direction already written, minus. Opposite to dipole moment. See, these two are same, identical. Therefore, value of E equals to minus, minus it is 2 times, 2 times, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, charge Q divided by R squared plus A squared into cos theta cap. That's it. Right, students? Now, what in triangle, in triangle, AOP or BOP, take any of the two. What is cos theta? Cos theta means adjacent divided by hypotenuse. What's adjacent there? See, see the triangle? AOP, AO. What is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is AP. What is AO? A. What is AP? See here, AP, A square plus R square whole to the power half. Write this part here. So, I will write value E equals to minus 2 times 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. It is Q divided by R square plus A square into what is cos theta? A divided by R square plus A square or A square plus R square any can interchange commutative property into P in it vector, right? Minus. This is opposite to this. To the direction of dipole moment, electric field is opposite. That's why minus sign. Now, uh, regroup the terms in the numerator. Right? What is that? E equals to, same. E equals to y minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. You write as it is. Now, regroup it like this. 2a. 2a. A is there. Into 2. A into 2 into Q, you know why? Already some of you getting this in mind. See, if I put bracket to this, what is the power of the term? R square plus A square. 1. Power of this? Half. So, what can I write here? Power 1 plus half. 1 plus half. Because it is like term A power X, A power Y. What is A power X? A power Y? x plus y law of indices base same add indices i'll rub this so in the place of a you have r square plus a square the other term r square plus a square but power is half one plus half and numerator unit vector p but what is the value 2a into q you know 2a into q is p value of dipole moment so i'll learn what is one plus half LCM is 2, it is 2 plus 1, what is that? 3 by 2, all this you know. Therefore, I write value of vector E minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, 2A Q P divided by R square plus A square whole to the power 3 by 2 unit vector P. This is the expression U 
or supposed to write. What is this? An expression for electric field due to a dipole at any point on the which line? This. What is this line called? Equatorial line. Any point at a distance r r from the center of the dipole. That. Need to arrive at that relation. Five mass. You can have one, uh, one more point and you practice this. I will remove this here, this part, right? Ah, now, uh, same condition. If uh, for a very short dipole, sometimes in CET need, they put a condition for a very short dipole. What is a short dipole? Implies, implies A very, very less compared to R. That implies neglect the value. A squared. For example, 0 0.5. Square it. 0 0.5 into 0 0.5. 0 0.25. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 into 0 0.2. 0 0.04. When number is small, square of that is still smaller. So, A is very, very less compared to R. A square very less. So, you are le left with minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. P divided by P divided by uh, R square, since you neglect A, raised to the power 3 by 2, unit vector. So, 2 cancels. You are left with the final expression E, minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, P divided by R cube, the expected derivation, uh, relation. In magnitude form, magnitude wise, magnitude, value of E, magnitude wise, or just E, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught p divided by r square plus a square raised to the power 3 by 2 without sign and uh, unit vector you write or if a very very less compared to r in that case the value of e only magnitude expression p divided by r cube we can use these two while using to simplify numerical sums Numerical sums, only those two relations, P. And one more thing you can remember, the electric field for a very short dipole falls off as cube of, inversely as cube of distance. How does electric field vary with distance? Inversely proportional to square of distance. E proportional to Q, E inversely proportional to R square. But for a dipole, it is inversely proportional to Q. Falls off quickly. Quickly it falls off. Decreases. Look, why? Because if I place a point charge here, this attracts, this repels. Resultant of these two is less. If you go to a certain distance, will quickly decrease as a power R cube. R cube. E proportional to 1 by R cube. This is the type of relation. Students, you go through the calculation part once again. Right? I will explain you using my notes. Next. Uh, clearly what you have to write for the board examination state board examination it is asked for five marks one of the important questions five marks question remember put a star on five marks for that how much you have to write i have explained in my study material i will show you that now then you practice two three times write on your own you are ready for the board examination and those two relations are used in seat in need you will see how right we will go to that Okay, students, we will see how much you have to write for the 5 marks question in the board examination. You have this in your study material. This diagram is there. You write this diagram, dipole plus Q minus Q, uh, separation A, A, 2A, and this side is A square plus R square, whole to the power half, and this is R, distance of point P from the center of the dipole. After writing this diagram, you explain it like this. Plus Q minus Q are charges of the dipole. 2A separation between the two charges of the dipole, where P 2A Q, this is the dipole moment. If you write in magnitude form, uh, like this, vector form, you write this way, dipole moment vector equals to 2A Q, you write in your notes like this, vector form, right? Then, the magnitude of two electric fields, plus Q minus Q R, what is E plus Q? 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, charge Q divided by R square plus A square whole square. It is actually AP, we wrote, right? AP. It is along, along which direction? A to P, the value. You can write this way as I showed this, right? 
your magnitude you have written you can write arrow also you can write like this write like this then e minus q vector 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r square plus s square a again because e minus q is from p to b this is b this is a p to b p b we have written e or q by r square plus s square are equal these two are equal in the figure a p square minus bp square is a square plus r square yes it is equal to this is equal to ap square that is equal to bp square that is equal to a square plus r square is right angle triangle the directions 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 of e plus q and e minus q are as shown in the figure you have shown directions of e plus q and e minus q right now we have i will show you see here Directions of E plus Q, E minus Q, E plus Q like this, E minus Q like this. I have explained to you already. The directions of E plus Q, E minus Q, when resolved, when resolved, you get, when resolved, you get the values E plus Q cos theta and E minus Q cos theta and they are opposite to P, opposite to P. P is from minus Q to plus Q, they are opposite. Therefore, if you add them, they give total value E minus of E plus Q, E minus Q, cos theta P, right? You have written the direction here, okay, right? What is the value of E plus Q? E plus Q is this, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Q by R square plus A square, plus, what is E minus Q? Again, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Q divided by R square plus A square, they are same cos theta you have written, you have added, right? This much you have to write. Then, then, you will go to the next part. I hmm? will show you the next part here. Huh. Now, in the figure, from the figure, see, in the figure, what is cos theta? You wrote cos theta there, previous. What is cos theta? Adjacent by hypotenuse. What is adjacent? A, O by A, P. You have taken the triangle. Which triangle you have taken here? Triangle AOP. You can use BOP also. That is equivalent to triangle BOP. Any. I have chosen AOP. In triangle AOP, cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. AO by AP. AO by AO square plus AP square whole to the power half is right angle triangle. Therefore, cos theta is a divided by this a a divided by a square plus r square whole to the power half right okay you have written the value of cos theta here 1 over 4 by epsilon 0 2 times q divided by r square plus a square cos theta into unit vector p where cos theta value i have written into a by a square plus r square whole to the power half Right? Now, there are two terms. One is R square plus A square. R square plus A square into R square plus A square whole to the power half. Right? Here, you are adding the two terms. One is uh, 1 by R square plus A square whole to the power 1. This is actually into 1 over R square plus A square whole to the power half. What do you do? This index formula like A to the power M into a to the power n base same you add indices what is that a power m plus n like that a is r square plus a square and first term m is 1 n is half m plus half so if you add the powers what do you get i'll rub this and write the power is 1 over r square plus a square r square plus a square Whole to the power 1 plus half. What is 1 plus half? 1 plus half is 3 by 2. LCM 2, 2 plus 1. You write how 1 plus half written as 2 take LCM. 2 ones are 2 plus 1. That is 3 by 2. 3 by 2. Right? 3 by 2. That's why the simplification part of this is minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 a q. 2aq numerator 2aq here is 2 this is uh, q 
and where is a here you have grouped numerator 2aq divided by a square plus r square whole to the power 3 by 2 unit vector p straight away from here you can write this you need not show all the simplification you remember that's it answer you need not write the simplification part you practice four five times straight away from here to here you write uh, simplification part doesn't carry mark here in physics mathematics part you can just skip so finally minus 1 by 4 by epsilon naught p divided by what is p 2a q what is 2a q dipole moment initially we wrote therefore p divided by a square plus r square raised to the power 3 by 2 dipole moment 2a q p therefore dipole moment negative sign because why negative sign electric field is opposite to dipole moment vector that's what you have to remember right students finally expression is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by a square plus r square whole to the power 3 by 2 if you don't write arrow here moment vector here you don't write minus sign just value this is minus indicates direction direction of electric field vector opposite to direction of dipole moment vector with respect to dipole moment electric field is opposite like this direction direction here is shown with minus sign if you just write value magnitude you need not write directions in that case just 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by a square plus r square raised to the power 3 by 2 finally you are left with this expression now as we did earlier for a very short dipole length of the dipole is very small in that case r will be very very large compared to a when r is very large square of a still smaller so contribution can be neglected a's contribution remove that a if you remove a you are left with r square raised to the power 3 by 2 2 cancels you are left with expression final expression e equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught p by r q one point you can remember electric field inversely proportional to cube of distance for a dipole for a point charge square square for a uh, dipole cube of distance you can remember that one mass question how does electric field vary with distance in the case of a dipole it falls off as cube of distance inversely proportional to cube of distance very important term write this write this this is magnitude a form with a is without a this is vector form vector form you can remember this part. I'll remove this now. This is about the calculation part. Practice this two, three times, students. Then uh, you be ready for the next video. Remember this, right? Two, three times you have to practice. Then you write on your own without looking at the notes, right? One of the important questions in your examination will be asked for five marks. Without learning this, you cannot move further. So you have to watch videos. 13 and 14 thoroughly then we'll be ready for the next video we'll be discussing again on dipoles only but torque on dipole we'll come to that thank you